Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do a week in outfits. It has been such a long time since I last filmed one of these and I figured with it being the transitional season and we've kind of got some slightly gloomy weather, I'm traveling this week, but it might be a fun week to share with you what I'm going to be wearing. Now I will have everything that I wear linked down in the description box below and I think I'll probably also couple this with a Substack newsletter as well so I'll be sure to link that down below if you're not already subscribed because I do share with you 10 item capsules every single month which always so so much fun to put together. Alright so uh, today is Monday obviously and I am working from home. I have just had some styling clients and I always feel like even when I'm at home uh, I want to kind of put on clothes, I want to dress up for the work that I'm doing that day or for the tasks I have at hand and I'm very practical. I mean I definitely dress a lot more casual now than I did before I had kids but I feel like that's very much part of that fluid shift in seasons as we go through the different stages of our life. We'll do my jewellery first so earrings that I'm wearing, these big teardrop earrings are from Pamela Card. I wear these loads, they're one of my favourites in my entire jewellery collection, they're just such a statement piece and they're actually really really light to wear. I have a discount code for these, my Majuri Diamond Huggy Hoops, I've had these in for a long time. As originally I had my heart shaped studs but I thought I lost them, anyway thankfully I didn't. Um, I do have all my little diamond necklace from Majuri as well, no other rings. And I guess I'll figure out the best way to share with you all of my outfit details but the tank that I'm wearing today, this one is from H&M, I recommend this all of the time, I think it's such a brilliant basic. The belt that I have on is from Addison's. I also own this in black. It is just a brilliant belt and I think well worth the money. Though you may notice that the actual gold plating does wear off the buckle uh, as it has on my black belt. The cardigan is from Quince. I really really love this espresso colour. I actually also have this in the charcoal grey and it's one of my favourites in my wardrobe. This personally in my opinion is better than the Jenny Kane one if you live in the US. Uh, if you're going to do mail forwarding, I mean I really don't think you can go wrong. The trousers that I'm wearing today you will have seen before. These ones are from Facade Pattern and I do also own them in the black as well. Uh, the sandals I have on are from Tibby. I'll show you guys some close-ups in the mirror too but yeah I mean trousers are great. I love that they've got a really interesting shape and these are perfect if you are petite. Then finishing that off with the bag of the day which is this hobo style bag from Madewell. They actually just recently sent this to me and I really love the colour. It's kind of this rich burgundy raisin brown hue. has this very gold buckle here so you can adjust the actual length of the strap. I think you technically can wear it crossbody but I prefer it on the shoulder. But yeah that is a look at my outfit today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, it is Tuesday today, another work day, and thought I would share with you what I am wearing. It's reasonably warm in Sydney. I want to say it's probably about 25 degrees, so I haven't checked the temperature. I'm feeling a little bit warm with what I've got on. And so the top that I'm wearing, this one is from And Other Stories. It is 100% merino wool, and I mean, you know me, I love things like texture. That I find really interesting but also the sleeve length on these I feel like it's a little bit awkward because it actually hits below the elbow and I don't really have anything else like that and that's kind of one of the key details that drew me to this top. The jewellery is pretty much the same as yesterday, Pamela card earrings, Majuri hoops, Majuri necklace, I've also got Majuri ring, Karen Walker signet and then my Monica Veneta bracelet. The belt is the black leather version of the one I was wearing yesterday from Anderson's and I'm hoping here you can kind of see how the buckle itself has tarnished. I would 10 out of 10 buy this again and I think I don't really mind this it kind of almost looks champagne these days. Trousers are in a twill they're from Sportscraft these are the brownie pant and they're just such a good cut especially if you are a little bit taller though you could easily get them hemmed. If you like this sort of a look but you're more petite, I recommend the Uniqlo trousers and I will link those down below. The shoes that I am wearing are just from Whitna. I've had them for a couple of summers now and these are a tan slide sandal. I will say mine have kind of marked up quite a bit because I've not babied them at all. And then bag is going to be that same one from Madewell that I was wearing yesterday in this beautiful plummy brown hue. So yeah, that is a look at my full outfit today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday today and I'm actually just getting ready to head out the house. So I thought I would quickly share with you what I'm wearing. 
is incredibly gloomy but it's Sydney so it's still hot so still in sleeveless tops despite it being almost a month into autumn. Uh, jewelry wise really simple today I've just got in my little uh, Majuri hoops and then also the diamond necklace that I have been wearing absolutely loads. I feel like the most special part of this outfit though is the top that I'm wearing so I'm gonna just move the camera. Okay so the top that I'm wearing is from Cos and it has this really unique knotted fold detail at the back. I'm just going to come a bit closer so you can see. Uh, so at the front, it's really, really simple and quite basic, but then you turn around and you have the drama. I love it. And I just want it really simply with some black trousers. Uh, these are kind of a slimmer fit, which I like because it kind of counterbalances the fact that the top is so voluminous. On my feet, I'm wearing my 80 Mary Janes. And I really love these shoes. I have people asking me if I'm still wearing them, but yes, I am. However, I will say the patent version, the uh, patent leather, the paint, it is starting to peel off at the toe, which is a little bit frustrating. So I'm going to have to take them into the cobbler to get them repaired. They're my bag of the day. I switched out to an old favorite, my Celine Trotter bag. This was on high rotation when I first bought it. And then I upgraded to the iPhone Pro Max, which at the time I'm pretty sure it didn't fit in my bag, or at least I couldn't fit everything I needed to in here. It just became too small. But I don't know, it seems to fit everything I need now, probably because I no longer have my key holder. That might be maybe one of the reasons, but yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. I'll see you tomorrow with my next outfit. So it is Thursday today and I've just been out with the kids. Thursdays are my day off, so I've got both the children with me and it's always really fun because we usually try and make the most of it and do something that they will enjoy. So we went to this really cool park that I've never taken them to before. We took their bikes, there was a big hill, so we're just riding down the hill. Anyway, great time for them. Uh, so it usually means that I will probably go makeup free and I'll typically wear something that is going to be easy enough for me to wear with the children. I'm really kind of practical and it's definitely highlighted for me that that while there are certain styles of items that I like to wear, I have to be mindful about the fabrication and the color so that it suits what I'm doing and also fits my current lifestyle. So funny story, while we're going back to the car um, and I was helping my daughter with her trike, the hill kind of went, we were sort of running down and my sandal caught on a tricycle and broke. And these ones that I actually just filmed cutaways for yesterday for my video on Monday, uh, my air label sandals, you can see here that this little leather bit, uh, which was holding the strap, it completely snapped. So I'm going to take these to a leather maker when I get back from New Zealand so that I can get them repaired because I really love wearing them and they're so comfortable. Uh, so word of warning if you have these, maybe don't wear them when you're doing quite adventurous activities with your kids. Um, but I'll get up and show you my outfit. Jewelry is exactly the same. I haven't even got my wedding band on because my eczema has just really bled up on my hands. All right, so the t-shirt that I've been wearing today is this black and white striped one from YSL. I like the fact that this allows me to feel like I've put in some effort because it's printed piece, even though it's really just a basic printed piece. I have tucked that into my favorite trouser skirt from Goelia, which I'm really sad they haven't kind of added as a cool piece because I honestly think it's just one of the best ones around. Country Road have a really cool one, but it's in a faux leather. If that is your jam, I think that adds some nice texture. Belt is from Anderson's. This is my mock crop leather one. Then the sandals that I have since decided to put on because I had to actually run out to Kmart and just get some flip flops. These are from Mara and mine. I've had them for about three years now and sadly the brand is currently on hiatus. I don't know if they are going to be reviving it at any point. That said, I have seen some of their shoes on online design outlets. So always keep, worth keeping an eye out because they're really, really well made. Bag of the day is my Celine Trotter. But that is it for my outfit today. I will see you tomorrow post flight to Wellington. So I've arrived in Greytown. It is Saturday. It's early afternoon right now. I kind of spent the morning with my uncle and my yaya and then drove up. And it's really funny because I was saying to my husband, I forgot just how curvy the Romatakas are. Just what an awful stretch of road that is to drive. For those of you who have never traveled to New Zealand, you're not from here and you're not familiar, it's essentially this mountain range and the road wraps around the mountain. So as you're driving to the River Tuckers, you're on the outer lane, which means that the only thing kind of stopping you from rolling down this big hill if you make a wrong turn is a bit of steel fencing. So I might try and put a little map on screen just to give you a bit of an idea or a sense, but yeah.
I'm very glad to be here. I'm really looking forward to going to my friend's wedding. I'm going to be heading out in about an hour or so, I think. Uh, so I'm going to spend some time getting ready and I will show you because I was really extra, I ended up bringing three different dress options with me because I wasn't sure what the weather was going to be doing and I also wasn't sure what I was in the mood to wear. I think I know what one I want to go for but I'll share with you all three options anyway uh, and I'll show you what I'm wearing today. Let me talk through my outfit yesterday. I filmed some clips but it just wasn't really conducive to filming inside because it was quite dark uh, but my travel outfit was this white rib tank from Sportscraft. I really really like this so it does fit large so I sized down. Then I'm wearing my Minima Essentials jeans. This is the Leo style and I like the raw edge hem. I don't know if they are still currently doing these but I did cinch in at the waist with my Anderson's belt. Shoes that I was wearing are my About Ariane ballerina pumps which are really quite comfortable and always handy especially when you're traveling. The coat that I've brought with me for this trip is the Cos scarf coat. Now I don't know whether or not this is going to be available online because I bought mine in store but I will link it down below anyway. I found it on the website. And if you are in the US or you're game to do mail forwarding, Quince do a really affordable alternative that you can check out if you like that totem scarf coat look. But really all you need is a collarless coat and a scarf and a matching color to get the same vibe. I will link a TikTok where I kind of actually show you how you can essentially achieve the same look without splurging on a very specific piece. And then my hobo bag from Madewell, which was kind of the perfect size for traveling on the plane. So let's chat through what I've been wearing this morning. It is actually not that cold here. I feel like I packed really well given the temperatures and the weather that I've experienced so far, though it's only been two days and I've still got another two days ahead of me. Um, I am wearing a tank underneath this and I'll show you on the cutaways which one but it's the Cezanne black and white striped tank in case I got too warm. Uh, my grandparents house or my yard's house is very very cozy. Uh, then the red knit that I'm wearing is from Goelia. This is a 100% wool sweater and I love the little mock neck effect. The belt that I have on is that same Anderson's belt and then also the Minima Essentials jeans from yesterday. My whole idea is that I was probably going to repeat a couple of things on this trip, though I did bring options just so that I wouldn't feel bored or restricted by what I had in my suitcase. And I kind of knew I didn't need any room in there for any shopping because that was not on the radar for this particular trip. Then on my feet, I'm wearing my About Ariane Ballet flats again. I thought about wearing my Low Flow Randall woven flats, which I did manage to fit in my suitcase too, but uh, I just felt like the colors work a little bit better. Bag again is of course my Madewell Hobo Tote. I am going to do a review of this over on my blog. So if it is already live when this video goes up, I will be sure to link that down below, but this is becoming a new favorite. It is such a good size. And actually, if you have older children or maybe you've got one older child and then a younger one and you need a bag that you can fit sort of one nappy, two nappies, some wipes uh, and just the drink bottles and things along with your essentials, this is the perfect size and it doesn't look like a nappy bag or anything. Uh, I think the quality of it is really beautiful too. I've had a few bags from Madewell over the years and... I think this is probably my favorite, especially that buckle detail. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start getting ready. So next time you see me, I'll have my face all made up, my hair will be done, and I'll share with you the dress options that I brought. I'm all set to go to this wedding now. I decided to go with this beautiful Ellery dress, which I actually wore when I was in Dallas as well. I'm going to link that vlog up in the cards if you'd like to have a watch. Um, it's just a really good fail safe for me. I love that it's really simple, minimal. And if you're wondering why, and if you're wondering why I decided to wear black to this wedding, I have it on good authority that the bride is wearing something really bold and bright. So I wanted to wear something that would kind of allow me to fade into the background because it's her special day. So that was kind of why I went with black. And also, I don't know, I personally don't mind black at weddings, but I know some people do. Anyway, um, dress, one of my faves. Then the shoes are my Gucci crystal slingbacks. These were so unbelievably expensive, but I have to say they're one of my favorite shoe purchases I've ever made because they always elevate an outfit. I love the little crystal embellishments, but I know these shoes aren't going to last forever. These aren't one of those designer shoes that I have ever bought thinking I can get these resold and repaired over time because eventually that mesh netting it is going to be like any other fabric shoe. It's going to wear through and there'll be holes. And I think that's going to be a lot more difficult to repair. So I just want to say that word of warning. If you have been thinking about these, just buy them with that in mind. But 
I reach for them every time I have a special occasion or any time I can justify wearing them. Then the bag that I'm taking with me, my little berry bag from Poland. I absolutely love this and it's kind of my go-to if I'm wearing a darker outfit and I need an evening bag. So that is what I'm wearing. I'm going to show you some clips of the other two dresses I bought with me just so you can see. So the first option that I've been considering wearing is from Christopher Esbe and it's this long sleeved maxi length dress, basically a gown that has a that wing sleeve so it's this really interesting shape around the bodice and then you have this ruching at the waist which I swear it just creates the most figure flattering effect it kind of it makes you look phenomenal and then all the way to the floor uh, I think Christopher Esbert as a designer really understands how to design clothing that can make you feel phenomenal. Then the other dress that I brought along with me, which I was kind of tossing up as being a contender to wear instead of this, is from Camilla Remark. And I bought this from the warehouse sale, so I got a really good deal on it. And it is a dark green kind of silk satin dress underneath. And then it has a black mesh overlay, which is maxi length. So you kind of have this little bit of a reveal where your legs are peeking through. I really, really love this dress, but I think that one calls for having me wear my hair up and I wanted to wear it down today. So that is it. I will see you tomorrow with my next outfit. And I'm also going to do Monday's outfit this week, so you'll get a bonus one. Anyway, see you then. It's Sunday today. It's just about 9 a.m. And I'm currently in the process of getting ready to leave the Airbnb. There is a brunch for everyone who's come to attend the wedding. So I'm looking forward to catching up with everyone again before I head back to Wellington. Um, last night was so fun. It was so, so nice to actually be here to celebrate two beautiful friends getting married. Uh, I stayed out very, very late. So I ended up going back to their house because they live in Greytown um, with a bunch of other people and staying there till about two in the morning. Um, and then I woke up, I'm pretty sure I woke up at 6.30. So I'm definitely feeling a little bit tired. And I think you probably see that in my face. <laughs> but um, in terms of what I'm wearing today, I have a base layer on, um, it, I think it's going to be 22 degrees here in Greytown. So probably not too dissimilar in Wellington, a little bit cooler, I would suspect. So base layer is my series live t-shirt. Then we have on this beautiful cashmere sweater from Quince. This is their boyfriend cashmere sweater. I get a lot of questions about how I am able to get Quince when they don't ship outside of the US. I use mail forwarding. So it is quite expensive to do mail forwarding. So I will usually buy a bunch of pieces and then get them all sent at once. The skirt is from Minima Essentials and I really love the length of it because it's a mini but it's not too short and that's very important because there is a huge difference. I'd previously bought the Dish Score which I put a photo up on screen and this was great. I liked the colour but I ended up feeling ultimately that it was too short for me. Uh, this really does have that perfect length that I was looking for. The belt is my Anderson's belt that I've been wearing this whole trip. And then we've got my About Ariane Ballet Flats. I'm also going to throw my Cos coat on today, I think probably as I'm leaving, in case it's a little bit cold outside. Uh, and then bag is... Of course going to be my Madewell tote, which I'm just loving for it being a big carry all. All right, that is it from me for here. I will see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit. I am back in Australia now after my trip to New Zealand. It was really a bit of a flying visit, but so nice to get to go home, see friends and family. Now, I didn't manage to actually capture any footage of my outfit yesterday, so I'm going to put it on now so you can see what I was wearing. Uh, but yeah, it was mostly just traveling. And the way I tend to dress when I'm traveling is if it is a shorter flight, so a three hour flight, I'll just wear my regular clothes, otherwise if it's a long flight, I will generally pack some leggings and then wear the kind of more relaxed pieces in my uh, travel capsule. So it started to get kind of cold, so I decided to go with some knitwear and I wore that really bright yellow knit. I figured that I could layer the charcoal cashmere knit over the top if I needed to. Like that this has the rib texture, it's ever so slightly sheer, but this plays so well with neutrals, especially grey. The skirt is the same one I was wearing on Saturday, and it's funny because actually on Saturday, about an hour after I filmed my outfit of the day, I was just in a t-shirt and skirt because it was so hot. Uh, but yeah, I ended up reaching for that again, so I didn't even need to take the grey trousers, but always good to have options, and I think that's nice if you want to mix things up when you're away. You can have one or two additional options that you might not need. I also had on my Anderson's belt, shoes that I was wearing, my Loaf Randall woven ballerina flats. These work even if you've got wide feet, however you may notice that you can see a little bits of your feet peeking through if you have a wider foot like I do. Then bag is just that Madewell bag. I also had on my coat when I was going outside, inside I was fine just with the knit. Uh, and yeah, that was the outfit. I did end up just throwing on a white tee when I went on the plane, but 
I wanted to keep it really simple and also a little bit fun. And in case I get any questions about the dress I'm wearing right now, this one is from Dish. I actually bought it on sale and it is a good little mini dress for summer. So that is what I wore for the past week or just over a week, including traveling to New Zealand. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so let me know if you'd like to see more and I will see you next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.